Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. In the last episode, we finally made it to the class trial. I am raring and ready to go. And just as a quick reminder, because this is the class trial, I will be shortening the episodes to 30 minutes in length. Just, just reminding you in case you had forgotten. Now then, let's get this started. Now then, let's first discuss the motive. That masterpiece of gaming, Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. What? Who cares about that game? I do. I thought it was cool. The outcome of this trial should be determined by whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. Nevertheless, we shouldn't ignore it. After all, that game is the motive this time. Yeah, you're right. Then let's try discussing that first. I'm sure everyone who's beaten the game already knows that it's based on an actual murder case. I do wonder how many people played it. We know that Nagito did, Fuhiko Chiaki Hajime. The girls are saying they didn't, or at least Mikan, Ibuki, and Hyoko are. I can't remember if I said Mahiru beat it, but we know she beat it. Um, I do wonder if any of the other cast members would have. You, I think some of them would. I'm just not entirely sure which. Some of us have not beaten that game. Give us a detailed explanation. I kind of... I kind of maybe believe that she hasn't. I... Don't ask me why, but part of me feels like it's not that she beat the game, it's that she saw that Fiyuhiko was doing something and, you know, was like, oh shit, I've got to step in here. I don't know why but he's up to something and I've got to step in. That or I could, I could maybe see her, you know, oh, see, he goes behaving weirdly. He probably played the game. I'm going to go play it. And then maybe that clued her in. I don't know. But part of me does believe her when she's kind of saying, oh, some of us, myself included, haven't beaten the game. I, it could be a double bluff, but I don't know. It means... Twilight Syndrome Murder Case is a non-fiction game. Additionally, some of us are characters in that game, too. Some of us are characters in a video game? Wouldn't that be shocking, Nekomaru? So, I think it's better if we clarify who the characters in the game are first. Okay. The characters in the game were Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, Girl D, Girl E and Boy F. And the high school girl who got killed at the beginning. By using the staff roll after clearing the game as a reference, I should be able to figure out who's who. Or you could literally just go off the characters' personalities, which are damn near identical to some of the personalities of people you're interacting with. The first character the player was able to control was Girl A. The true identity of Girl A, it's probably, uh, Mikan. I see! Girl A is probably Mikan Tsumiki. <laughs> Me? Yes, you. That timid tone. That definitely sounds like Girl A. Based on the list of names in the staff role, I can't think of anyone else who would be Girl A. Why am I in a video game? That's an infringement of my right to privacy. Oh, I like that argument. I I question whether in whether it is an infringement. I mean, if you give your permission to something, then it's not an infringement. Why am I saying that Mikan would have given her permission? Am I gonna get into that after the class trial? A nasty, trashy pig shit like you doesn't have any privacy rights. How dare. Ah, a nasty, trashy pig shit. I feel like I heard that in the game too. Huh? Yeah, you're there too, bitch. She's right. The one who said that was Girl B. I see. Girl B was short and foul-mouthed. She's probably Hiyoko. 
short and foul-mouthed? That's like the complete opposite of me. Bitch, you're like three foot. <laughs> and you swear constantly. <laughs> Admittedly, I am, I am also kind of describing myself that I too am short and foul-mouthed. Goddamn. Anyway, let's move on. Next is girl C. Girl C, huh? Her personality was hyper energetic and unique. Ibuki. Monokuma, no. I see! Girl C is Ibuki. Girl C? Then I'll see you next Tuesday! Let's move on to Girl D. Chiaki has no time for puns. Girl D, huh? There's only one person who always had a camera with them. That would be Mahiru. I see! Girl D is Mahiru. The victim in this case. Yeah, that's correct. Let's skip Girl E and talk about Guy F. He's Guy F. That would be Fuyuhiko. I see! Aren't you Guy F, Fuyuhiko? Huh. <laughs> I was in a game? That's fucking stupid. Uh, that reminds me. Wasn't there another person whose last name was also Kuzuryu? Another person? It was one of the names on the staff roll. The names were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyoda, Sato, Kuzuryu, and then another Kuzuryu. Actually, Sayonji never came up. They used Hiyoko's first name. It was Sumiki Koizumi Hiyoko. <laughs> Miyoda said that. That's weird. That's an odd error, but I like it. Hold on. Why do you keep saying there were two Kuzuryus? It's not like I'm wrong. That's how it's written on the staff roll. Since you beat the game, you probably know what this actually means, right? The reason for Yuhiko's last name, Kuzuryu, appears twice. It's true I have a hunch, but... To call me out like that, Nagito, you're definitely someone I shouldn't mess with. The reason for Yuhiko's last name, Kuzuryu, appears twice, it's probably because he has a little sister. I can prove it with this! In the game, Guy F, Kuzuryu, mentions that he has a little sister. <laughs> Yeah, and you told us all about that at the diner, buddy. Hmm? What do you mean, little sister? What do you think it means? Akane? Akane? Akane, have you never heard of siblings before? This is what Guy F said in the game. It's pretty clear. There's no doubt that Guy F had a little sister. Plus, the sister actually appeared in the game. That's why the name Kuzuryu appeared twice. By the way, what role did Guy F's little sister, the other Kuzuryu, play? You probably noticed, right? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so this, this feels really fucked up. He's just discovered that his sister is dead. Not only that, but she was murdered and people who were complicit in that murder are on the island and yes Mikan, Hiyoko, Ibuki and Mahiru they didn't actively kill his sister however they found the body didn't do jack shit and Mahiru figured out who the murderer was and helped her destroy evidence by, you know, deleting the photographs and giving her the the picture of the vase. Like, if, if this were a real world case, Mahiru would absolutely be going to prison. She has become an accessory after the fact by hiding that evidence. I don't really want to say it myself, but I need to move the conversation forward. The only character in the game I could see being Fuyuhiko's little sister is the girl who died at the beginning. I see! The dead high school girl who was the first victim in the game is the only person I can think of.
Based on Gaev's tone in the game, it's clear that Girl E is not his little sister. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuyuhiko's sister. Why do you sound so fucking happy? That's a winning personality you've got there. Winning personality? Are you praising me? No. I was being sarcastic, dumbass. Hey, you said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is... Murdered! Can we show the guy some sympathy, please? Yeah, I have a little sister. Something wrong with that? It's just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some video game with reality. It's not just a game. It's definitely based on true events. That's why it's the motive. Don't go making shit up, bastard! If she was the type to die easily, I'd have fucking killed her myself a long time ago. I don't believe him when he says that. I've... I've said this before, Fuyuhiko strikes me as quite a sentimental person. Also, to be blunt, I'm like, I, I said this before, he was raised by Yakuza's. If you're actually going to kill someone, you don't advertise it. You don't go around, you know, screaming, oh, I'm gonna fucking kill you. I could totally do it. I could totally do it. I'll sell you to a whorehouse. If you actually intend on doing those things, you don't advertise it. He'd just do it. He's got a- he's like a little dog barking to keep people away from him. He's harmless. Admittedly, I do- I do think he attempted to kill Mahiru, but again, she was culpable in his little sister's death. I don't exactly begrudge that. I mean, when I first entered Hope Speak Academy, she, she was mouthing off to me as usual and sent me off. It happened just the other day. N no, no, buddy. It's it's been years and years and years. Like it's it happened a long ass time ago, dude. Um, about that. You're probably thinking like that because you've lost your memories. Shut the fuck up. You be quiet. I see. So you're never gonna accept that that game is based on true events, huh? Okay, I understand your attitude toward this class trial now. Well, I mean, if he accepts it is real, then he has to accept that his sister is dead. And if he accepts that, then... You know, what's the point? As it stands, he can argue, oh, well, those pictures were photoshopped. Or maybe someone paid her to pose in that way. Like, it's fake. It, mm. Nagito, you seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko a lot. Do you suspect he's the killer? A mystery that easy would make me feel sad. It wouldn't be good enough to serve as everyone's stepping stone. That's why I'd be much happier if Fuyuhiko wasn't the killer. Okay, you're starting to act weird again. Says the guy who sharpened his own teeth, presumably. Anyway... Now we've established who all the characters in the game are. Girl A is Mikan. Girl B is Hiyoko. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. And the first victim in the game, that dead high school girl, is Fuyuhiko's little sister. That's just a story in a fucking game. If so, then girl E is Miss Sato. Could it be? The same Miss Sato who likes white rice? Who? I don't know what Sato you're talking about, but I don't think she's relevant to this case. I'm glad I'm not the only one who's confused. Maybe it's related to Gundam's last name, since they're both really plain names. It... is that true? Because... Gundam Tanaka sounds real fancy to me. <laughs> What the heck is that wild connection? Tanaka may be an ordinary family name, but it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. What's wrong with Sato or Suzuki? And he also has a strange rivalry going on. Hey, no one cares about that. Hurry up and talk about the mystery of the game. 
Huh? What do you mean, mystery of the game? My, my, you don't know. I heard that girl E got killed. What? No way! Is that true? What is this? They're like gossipy high schoolers. I love it. Getting killed is so violent, don't you know? My, such awful times we live in. Why did this happen? You guys are definitely friends. So the mystery of the game is the murder of girl E, correct? Then let's hurry up and solve it. Let's first figure out why girl E was killed. Because she a murdering hoe, that's why. The reason girl E was killed, I should be able to assume why based on the content of the game. Um, because, because girl E was the killer, yeah. I see. The reason girl E was killed is because she killed the first victim in the game. Which means girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. What do you think, Fuyuhiko? Apparently girl E was killed to avenge your little sister. You're fucking persistent. I don't care what that game said at all. But... But... It... Is it... Is that true? Girl E, she, she killed the first victim? In order to make that clear, we need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. It's the murder that occurred in the music room. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. Oh. Look, I made a map of the music room's surroundings, which was the stage of the first case. Okay. So it, it doesn't look like there's a... You know what, I'm gonna I'm do that for now. Oh, you can't see my mouse, shit. Um, it doesn't look like there's a door leading from the music room into the other classroom. That's... That's kind of what I assumed. So in... In that case, I, I guess what must have happened was... Girly kills uh, little sis breaks the window, the, the fish tank is broken, um, I guess she must have locked the door from outside, returned the key to the teacher's lounge, and then ran into the room next door, broke a vase to get everyone's attention, and then ran out, and that's why she was so out of breath, because she'd been running, you know, from the music room, to the teacher's lounge, to the other room, you know, break the vase, run back out, blah blah blah, I, I guess that could explain it, but in- in that case, why bother breaking the vase? I assumed she was rushing out of the music room, you know, via some internal door. Happened to, like, knock in to the vase, which broke it. And then she had a kind of, oh shit, I need to hurry moment. I, I guess you would break the vase to kind of create almost a false alibi. You, you break it, everyone comes, and they're obviously like, oh, you're our school friend, we would never suspect that you are a murderer. And then she can claim, oh, I was with everyone else when the body was discovered. You know, it, it kind of creates a false alibi. In a sense, everyone's kind of focusing on, oh, we were all together when we found the body that no one is really thinking about, yeah, but where was she before? Because she wasn't with us. We were all in the main hall, where the fuck was she? Hmm. I'm surprised you went to all this trouble. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. Hmm. Classic dungeon crawler RPGs have a first person point of view, so mapping as you play is a basic. We get it! Let's talk about that later so we can focus on the case. How dare you let her talk about RPGs! I love RPGs! Then, I'll start explaining. Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, and Girl D were at the entrance hall when they heard the sound of glass breaking. Immediately, they climbed the stairs to the second floor and headed to where they heard that sound. Girl E was in front of the music room on the second floor, and she confirmed that the sound came from in there. But the door to the music room was locked. So Girl D went to get the key from the office, and when the five of them were finally able to go inside, you know what, let me, let me grab that for potential thumbnail purposes. 
They found the victim's body, dead from a blow to the head. Because the music room's window was broken, the girls thought the killer escaped through there. The sound of breaking glass that they heard at the entrance hall seemed to confirm that. Plus, Girl E's school swimsuit was stolen, so they concluded that the escape killer was some pervert. How does that sound? Sounds about right. Yep, an understandable explanation. Just as expected from the ultimate gamer who excels at clearing games. But it wasn't a pervert, right? Wasn't the real killer Girl E? Obviously. Girlie was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. Did she lock the music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office! Which means Girlie was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. But Girl D was the one who went to the office to get the key to the music room, right? By the way, since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. Well, they mentioned that there was like a master key. Like the, did they call it the lounge key? Something like that? Hmm. You can lock the music room from the inside, right? So from there, Girl E broke the window and escaped and sprinted to the front of the music room as fast as she could before the others arrived. Uh, not quite. She would have passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting if she tried to do that. Then... forget this! Nekomaru chooses death because he can't figure this shit out. It's not cute to see an old guy sulk. Hey! Is Girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet! Based on the details of the game, it's no mistake that Girl E, who was waiting in the hallway, is the killer. Then, what did Girl E do after killing the girl inside the music room? I guess I need to clear that up first. Okay, first proper minigame. Make your argument. Uh, we want, we want the broken vase photo. Yeah. After she killed the first victim in the music room, what did Girl E do? She just broke the window in the music room and escaped outside. Mm -mm. So how did Girl E get from outside the school to the front of the music room? To go back to the music room from outside, you need to go through the entrance hall. Yeah. Plus, at the entrance hall, the other four girls should have been there. Mm -hmm. At the entrance hall, the girls heard the sound of the window shattering. No. No, that's wrong. First of all, the sound the girls heard wasn't the window breaking. If it wasn't the window, then what broke to make that sound? A vase. Vase? How low can you go? What? After the murder, a broken vase was discovered in the classroom next to the music room. So the sound of breaking glass that the four girls heard wasn't the music room's window. I do have to question how they heard a vase break. But didn't hear a fish tank smashing or a window getting broken. I'm like, all I have is this image of girly, like, really carefully, like, breaking the window, breaking the fish tank, and then just grabbing the vase and, like, hook smashing it into the floor. Like, that, that's the only explanation I have for why they heard the vase, but nothing else. It was the sound of the vase breaking. Probably. Actually, the murder was nearly finished by the time the four girls met in the entrance hall. Girl E killed the victim in the music room, broke the window, and went to the office to get the key. Yeah, so it was the fact that she had been running all over the place that caused her to get out of breath. With that key, she locked the music room from the hallway, returned the key to the office, and went back to wait in front of the music room but not before Hulk smashing the vase. All she had to do was break the vase in the next door classroom as the four girls met by the entrance hall. 
to make them think the murder had just occurred and that the killer had just escaped. That is a lot of planning. If we had trusted what um, Sato had said, you know, like, oh, we were having an argument and then the next thing I knew, I was choking her and, you know, I just, you know, I realized if she woke up, then things would be so much worse, blah, blah, blah. But the fact that she then was like, okay, well, I need to break the window. I need to go get the key, lock the door, take the key back, go and Hulk smash the vase as everyone is meeting up. That is so much planning. That's not a spontaneous murder. That is, it shows some level of premeditation. So when the four of them ran over after they heard the sound, Girl E acted like she had just rushed over too. Uh, I see. Now the mystery has been solved. Wait a minute. The mystery hasn't been solved yet. You haven't determined what the murder weapon was yet. Uh, which murder weapon? Are you talking about the metal bat or what killed little sis? Murder weapon? Who cares about the murder weapon? We found out who the killer was. Not cool! I went to all the trouble of making this death march, so you gotta stick with it to the end! What the heck? You're so annoying! Fine, let's figure out the weapon. If this keeps up, I'm gonna feel like I need to shit. Dude, you were doing so good, you hadn't talked about your ass for episodes, dude! Not again! Which means I'll feel disgusting! You are disgusting. You're the disgusting one. God damn it, Hyoko, stop stealing my lines. <laughs> the weapon is pretty unconventional. The answer was revealed in the game, though. Hmm. Now then, will you guys be able to figure it out? An unconventional weapon that also appeared in the game? If we're told we can't advance as long as we don't make that clear, then I have to do it. I'll do it. Hmm, what do you think the weapon is? I have no idea. Was I out of line just now? Now then, there's something I need to tell you regarding the white noise in non-stop debates. I don't think I'll have white noise, actually. Some lines of white noise are actually very durable. You won't always destroy them in one shot. Durable white noise will chip away every time you shoot them with the silencer. But unless you completely destroy them, your time limit will not replenish. By the way, if your difficulty is set to gentle, white noise won't appear at all. You get the gist, right? Yeah, I do. I don't have to deal with this. It appears the debate is getting tougher, so I've obtained some very useful information. I heard there's a guy called Gun something. Apparently he has a skill that can increase the power of the silencer. Gun something. I wonder who it is. Hmm. Was I out of line just now? Well then, good luck and have fun. An unconventional weapon. I assume we're not talking about the metal bat. It can't have been the fish tank. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Yeah. Then she attacked her with the fish tank. I. That seems so unlikely. That's too big to be a weapon. Yeah. Then the piano. No. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? How about beating her with gravel instead? <gasps> if it's a weapon that was used to oh. beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. And what was never found? Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her fists! Oh, that's clever! An unconventional weapon apparently appeared in the game, but it, it, it got mentioned so much! A weapon inside the music room, huh? I what like that. What about broken glass? I like that. I think that's clever. Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. 
No, not quite. That's too big to be a weapon. It was the gravel inside the fish tank. In the tank. piano. Stuffed in the swimsuit. Why are you going even bigger? Tied, and then just... The investigation Basher. conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale, too? How about beating her with gravel instead? I agree with that. I got it. The killer must have used gravel to attack the victim. And with that bombshell, I am going to bring this episode to a close right here. So, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.